I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I am so excited to be sharing with you guys how we decorated the outside of my house. This is the first year that I've really been able to go all out and I'm so excited for you guys to see how it turned out. But anyway, please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy these kinds of decorating videos. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing before you go. I would love to have you. And let's go ahead and get started. I hope this video gives you lots of inspiration if you are planning on decorating your house this weekend, especially the outside. And this is the first year, like I said, I've really been able to go all out. And so I'm gonna link as many things as I can down in the description box since most of the things that we're using today are brand new. Last year, the only thing I put out was the wreaths on the windows. I did candles in the windows. And then I did a little bit of garland on the front stair railing, but I decided to change it up this year. So 90% of these decorations are brand new and including the ladder that we're using. And I will definitely link the ladder too because we love it. We got it as a Black Friday deal at Lowe's. I'm not sure if they're still having their Black Friday sales, but if they are, you definitely don't want to miss out on this, especially if you need an extension ladder. But I decided to be the brave one to go up the ladder and put the lights on the roof line of the house. And this year we just opted to do only the gutter line. Maybe next year we'll feel a little bit more brave and we'll do some other lights on other parts of the house. But for right now, we're just doing the gutter line and this was actually really easy and really fun. For Christmas, it's a magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman snow. So I have to know whether you guys like warm lights or cool lights. You will see in just a little bit that we did a mixture this year because the deer that we found for the front of the yard were on mega sale at Home Depot. And if they still have those, I will be sure to link them as well. But they are cool tone lights and then everything else on the house is gonna be warm tone. And I really don't mind the mixture. I know that some people like to stick to one or the other and maybe you like multicolor. So let me know in the comments what kind of lights you prefer. I debated sharing with you guys the footage of me actually cleaning out these gutters and then I opted not to because I just figured that was too gross and you probably didn't want to see it. But let me know if you guys have gutter guards on your gutters or not. I definitely feel like this is something that I'm going to have to consider for next year just so the gutters don't get so full of leaves. But we're moving on to the deer that I was just talking about and these are the ones that I got on super sale at Home Depot and they came with these really sweet bows that I'm attaching to the sides of them. I think next year I might make something a little bit different but for this year I just decided to use the ones that they came with and these were super easy to put together but they leave so much glitter everywhere. We assembled them inside the house and then carried them outside and there was like a trail of glitter from the back of the house to the front. So definitely be sure if you get these or any kind of outdoor decorations that have glitter, I would recommend assembling outside just so you don't make a huge mess. Hope I'm not making you dizzy as you watch us walk around this tree like a hundred times, but we eventually had to get up on a ladder because we couldn't really reach anymore. And we only use one strand of lights for this and I do have a second strand, so I might end up adding another strand to it because we only got about a quarter of the tree trunk with just this one strand of lights. And I really like when the way that it looks when you just cover the bottom part of the tree trunk. I saw one of my neighbors the other day did a candy cane one, so it was like alternating red and white. I thought that was super cute, so we might have to consider that for next year, but this was just a last minute little addition. I wasn't planning on doing this, but it was Jack's idea and I really like it. Come on. 
So the next day that we were working on the outside lights was actually Thanksgiving Day, and if you can even believe it, we are both wearing shorts in the middle of November. It's just Virginia weather, what can I say? But we decided on this day, since it was so warm, we wanted to kind of tackle the rest of the projects that we had. So we wrapped the railing here, like I said. Last year I did some garland and I only got like the top of the railing and I wanted to do the whole railing this year in white lights. So I just did the bottom part and then the top part and then we stopped and you're gonna see how we attach the lights to the door frame. It was Jack's idea to go all the way around the door frame and then come down the other side of the railing. I love the way that it turned out and I use these amazing command strips. If you guys have never used command strips, you're totally missing out. They work so well and these ones are specific for outdoors and they're specific for Christmas lights. So I will try to link these in the description box so you guys can check them out. They are a great way to get lights to kind of stick where you want them to. So I just put a few on each side of the door frame and then up above the door just to hold everything in place and it made everything stay so well. Ringing my bells no more. Oh, 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 If you guys are curious how I attach the wreaths to the outside of my house, then I will leave the link in my description box for my Christmas Decorate With Me Part 2. I included a little bit of footage in there of me hanging the wreaths on the outside of the windows and also how I attach the lights inside the windows. If you have a cat or a dog or even small children and you are nervous about putting candles in your windows, I have a hack for you. So definitely be sure to check out that video if you haven't already. Now we're going down the other side of the railing and in total this was five strands to do both railings and then another strand to go around the door and it made it really easy because we only had to plug in one strand to an extension cord and then the rest of them connected to each other. But here is the final reveal of the house. I absolutely love how this turned out. I think it looks so beautiful and magical and classic. And I did put a spotlight in. If you guys see the spotlight there on the ground, it just really illuminates the front door, makes everything look extra beautiful. I just really love how it turned out. Even my little LED deer just looked too cute in the front yard. I'm so happy. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you got some inspiration. And please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I would love to have you. And I will see you guys again very soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. And that's why I wanna sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate.